Here's two more Earth Science. This is Norse Teaches Science with me, Mr. Norse, another Earth Science video. Today we're going to talk about renewable resources or renewable energies. This is the part one of talking about these. I'm going to have another part to it in a different video because there's just so many out there. I don't want to bombard you in too long of a video. So the video goal here is I can discuss the pros and cons of different sources of renewable energy. Now, before we talk about that, what is renewable resources or what is renewable energy? These are things that can be replenished over a fairly short period of time. For example, animals, air, water, stuff that can be short-lived, unlike non-renewable that takes millions of years and thousands of years for it to replenish itself. So some types of renewable energy out there, you got biofuels, you got geo thermal, hydroelectric, hydro, hydrogen fuel cells, solar energy, tidal energy, wave energy, wind energy. And where you live in the world depends on which of these could be more of your alternative energy sources that you could use. So we're going to talk about each one of these between this video and the next video on renewable resources. So what is biofuel? Biofuel is the use of plant materials and animal waste that is converted into a fuel. Kind of like some of the processes are like corn and soybean, they can be used into a biofuel. Now using it, the pros of it, tree farms can restore degraded lands with this. And there's a large potential supply of these um, plants because we farm every year for corn and then some of that product can be made into biofuels. The cons is you're going to have CO2 emissions when we harvest it and if we don't plant back because you still have to plant back so the plants can take out the CO2 from the atmosphere. But we're still going to have to use some CO2 in the beginning so that we can har harvest the plants itself. There's also soil erosion, water pollution, and loss of habitat by using land for this is and Sometimes erosion happens with farming and water pollution at the same time. The next type of energy is called geothermal energy. This is an energy that is harnessed by trapping natural underground reservoirs of steam and hot water. And we use this to turn a turbine that then um, generates electrical power. Um, one good place that this can happen is anywhere that has when these natural geothermal um, areas um, near volcanoes, near geysers, stuff like that. Those types of geological um, structures. Um, now using it, pros, it's available 24-7. No matter what, you can have it. And there's little CO2 emissions and a little bit in little emissions of natural gas. The cons, it's only available near geological activities, and we have to still destroy habitat to build it. The next one is called hydroelectric powers. This is when water is stored behind a dam and released periodically. The falling water turns turbines, which produce electricity. So it's a dam area. Now there's a lot to hydroelectric powers that have some good and bad to them. So the pros, they have a long lifespan. Dams last a long time. Um, there's like no CO2 emission at all. It's actually a flood control method as well. You can um, control when they, what water comes in and out so you can control the flood. And it also provides water for year-round irrigation. Another thing is the water behind the dam that is built up, that area can be used for recreation. The cons of it or some problems with it, they're expensive to build. It takes a lot of money to build a dam. You also have to convert land to water habitat. The w land behind the dam will be flooded with water and it's going to be converted into a water habitat. Uh, there's also the danger of the dam collapsing and all the water coming downstream and flooding downstream and there's a decrease in fish spawning fish like to go up river like salmon to spawn or mate well they can't get past the dam one 
solution to that is some dams have built something called fish ladders, which allow the fish to go up and around the dam. So they don't go into the turbine and, you know, get chops and dead, chopped up and dead. And that's a little bit about these couple um, renewable energy resources. We're going to have another video on the other ones, but I hope you learned a little bit today. And I'm Mr. Norse, and I'm signing out for this video.